All right, last thing for this week. Let's talk about parallel and perpendicular lines. What are they and how we use them to find new equations of lines? All right, parallel lines. Two distinct non-vertical lines are parallel if and only if they have the same slope. All right, so again, parallel lines have identical slope. So if one has slope three, the other line's gonna have slope three if they are parallel. All right, that's what makes it, that same slope is what makes it so they never cross. All right, perpendicular lines. And I know some of you are probably already laughing. All right, at the car wreck there, I, I uh, saw that picture and I thought, holy cow. All right, two lines, neither of which are vertical, are perpendicular if and only if their slopes have a product of negative one. All right, the way we say two slopes have a product of negative one is to say the slopes are negative reciprocals. Okay, so it's not only flipping the slope, but it's also negating it to get the perpendicular slope. Okay, and so as you can see from this amazing car wreck, an example of what it means to be perpendicular. Or we can also see by connecting home plate and second base and first base and third base on our baseball diamond. All right, finding the equation of a parallel line. Find the equation of the line that passes through the point 3, 5 and is parallel to the line 2x plus 5y equals 4. All right, this is great. I know parallel lines have the same slope, and I have my point 3, 5. The only problem is I don't yet know my slope. Can anybody look at 2x plus 5y equals 4 and automatically, without blinking, say, aha, the slope is blank? All right, well... Probably not, and the first, so the first thing we need to do is find the slope of the line. So given my line in general form, what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides and then divide every term by 5 to get my line in slope-intercept form. Okay, once I'm in slope-intercept form, I can say, aha, I know the slope. The slope is negative 2 fifths. It was in the m position. Right? Since the lines are parallel, negative 2 fifths is also going to be the slope of the line I want. Okay, so I'm going to use a slope of negative 2 fifths and the point 3, 5. I'm going to use point slope form in this example. However, as I told you already, you can use slope intercept form, the y equals mx plus b. But you'll see I'll plug in my 5 for the y1, 3 for the x1, and negative 2 fifths for the slope. All right, I'm going to distribute that negative 2 fifths. Again, let me just show you guys, there's no magic going on here. I have negative 2 fifths, and I'm multiplying by negative 3, which is technically 3 over 1. We just don't write it that way. How do we multiply fractions, guys? Straight across. And so this gives me negative 2 times negative 3, which is 6, horrible 6, 6 over 5 times 1, which is 5. That's where the 6 fifths comes from. Now I want to add 5 to both sides. And ta-da! I get a y-intercept of 31 over 5. All right, no, it's not magic. All right, again, many of you will use your TI, which is fine, but let me just show you how the math happens. Okay, so I need to change 5 to a fraction with 5 in the denominator. How do I do that? I write it as 25 over 5 because 5 times 5 is 25. All right, so again, you hopefully can see if we reduce this, we get back to our 5, all right? All right, so I take my fractions now with the same denominator. I add the numerators straight across, and that is how I'm getting 31 over 5. All right, finding the equation of a perpendicular line. So let's go back to the line we just looked at, 2x plus 5y equals 4, and let's write the perpendicular line that goes through the point 3, 5. Okay, since our slope of our line, let me grab my pen here just so you guys don't get confused, the slope of this line right here we found to be negative 2 fifths, okay? I need to, to get the slope of my perpendicular line, I need to flip that fraction and change the sign. Since it's negative, it's my perpendicular slope's going to become positive, and it's the re reciprocal fraction, or 5 halves. So I'm going to use now my slope 5 halves, or 5 over 2, and my point 3, 5, 
which you can see I plug into point slope form. And I'm going to distribute the 5 over 2. Again, how am I getting 15 over 2? I get 5 times negative 3, which is negative 15 over 2. All right, now I need to add 5 to both sides. And again, I'll show you how the fraction math works. I change my number 5 here. Grab my pen. I change 5 to a fraction with 2 in the denominator, which is just going to be 10 over 2. So I have negative 15 plus 10 gives me negative 5 and I keep my denominator of 2. All right, but the key out of all this that I want you to see is that when I start with a slope of negative 2 over 5, my perpendicular line is going to have a slope of positive 5 over 2. All right, flip it and negate it is the way you'll hear me say it in lab.